welcome to TV TV Sport for our first pre-season friendly. I'm at the Mead and Skoda Arena for Brockenhurst against the team from my youth, Welling United. Are you looking to start your child on their footballing journey and live within the Bournemouth pool and surrounding areas? Fundamental Football Dorset puts the fun into football for toddlers through to many soccer age. With classes and football teams on weekend mornings and midweek evenings, get in touch to find out more. If you find yourself liking this channel, please subscribe, hit the bell and you'll know when I've uploaded something new. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm potentially on the lookout for an on-screen sponsor that will go around about here. If reaching a couple of thousand football fans each week is right up your street, get in touch. The weather was scorchio, but for some reason everyone still wanted a warm-up. Don't make sense to me, so I thought I'd catch up with Pat. <laughs> OK, I'm with Pat McManus here at Brockenhurst. They're taking on my old stomping ground well in United today in a pre-season friendly. How did this come about, Pat? Well, um Warren Feeney, who's their manager, contacted um, the club because they were down for a effectively a training week, a uh, training camp. Uh, I think it's about four or five day camp and they were looking for a fixture. And um, they chose us actually, as a football club in the area. Um, our pitch actually wasn't available, so we've, um, we contacted um, Southern Ground Care, who are pitch contractors, and got them to come out and see if they would give us the green light to, to come back a week early with regards to our pitch and but to be fair um, Keith gave us a, some pointers to get it ready a week earlier which um, which we've been doing the weather hasn't been helpful um, we've had lots of volunteers getting some water on the pitch um, for about 10 days now and um, it's not ideal but um, yeah we've got the fixture on and, and we're you know we're pleased to do so really and do you know much about the opposition only that they're going to be a lot better than us. Um, <laughs> so, and we've got we've got a few lads. Um, obviously, there's no travel restrictions now, so we've got a lot of lads who are away and, and and on stag weekends and things like that. So it's a good opportunity for wellness retreats and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> um, so it's an opportunity for some boys who have been here pre-season and and want to join the football club, and, and an opportunity for others to. Um, to show what they've got so you know we're expecting a difficult afternoon on the pitch but a, a learning afternoon so no, we're really looking forward to it brilliant stuff okay i know we're short of time i'll let you crack on best of luck lovely thanks very much okay i'm here with michael brownie who's the media man at welling united who's got this oh i've missed his wave uh got this magnificent piece of kit so if I've got any rich benefactors fancy getting me one of these, then please do. <laughs> Capture mast. So, Pass Michael, how on. did you get involved with Welling United? Uh, really lucky. I'm on my next level of coaching, and my co my actual tutor, um, is the women's manager at Welling, and then he um, he knows what I'm about because I've coached at I've coached at Charlton, and he knows that I also do this. And he um, said, would I be interested? I said there wasn't any harm in having a phone call, I guess. <laughs> I guess it was uh, that was on a Tuesday, and by the Friday I was I was given the position, which I'm Excellent. really really grateful for. To be honest, it's been a good three weeks that I've been here, and it's all been a learning process. Not many downs, lots lots of ups, but um, yeah, it's been enjoyable, okay. and I'm enjoying the club. The club has changed um, in the right manner so yeah. far. And you do you in charge of all the media, so all the socials? Yeah, I have I have all of the social media so the, uh, the beginning That's there's a been a face, that. <laughs> yeah in the beginning there's a few spelling mistakes um but um, i'm getting over it now and getting the confidence i guess getting <laughs> confidence to do it i wasn't doing it at my old job neither so right um but like i said everything's a learning experience and if i don't get it right i only learn by getting it wrong Absolutely. so um, and yeah. i can't get it too wrong who's this young man here just this is david our photo. photographer all right david Hello there. you all right mate yeah uh, not too sad how long you've been doing this yeah. What, for Welling? For Welling, yeah. 14 years. Blimey. Yeah. 37th tough... year following yeah. Welling now. You've had a tough paper good. round then, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I've, <laughs> seen the, I've seen the ups and the downs. In the pair of your direction, we can see from Welling today. Have they got a first team squad out? Is everyone here? Is there any key, key missing um, yeah, players? Yeah, look, well, I've been with them for the past few days. Um, Warren's really put them through their, through their paces. I'm loving the donkey in the background. Oh, he's, he's laughing at you, by the way. Laughing at me because yeah. I'm a donkey. I would say I was as well. Um, no, he's put them through their paces. He's got a nice, strong squad out. Um, and it, it's more of a test of endurance than the heat, isn't it, really? Yeah. See how long you can last personally and physically. 
Um, you'll see some exciting stuff. It's, we've had two great games. Uh, played Cray Wanderers 1-2-0 and then we went to Beckenham Town and it was 7-3. Uh, great game. Great game to be involved in. Unlo Excellent. Unfortunately, we couldn't, couldn't do any filming on the day, which is unlucky. But um, yeah, hopefully this year and the squad that we've got will do much better than last year where they just survived. Yeah. So, um, okay, yeah. good stuff. Which we've been doing for many, many, <laughs> many years. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for thank your time. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All right, cheers, boys. Before we start, a quick gentle reminder Brockenhurst sit at step five of the non league pyramid in the Wessex Premier, well in United are at step two in the National League South. Anyway, these are lights support you, like TV TV. The first 10 minutes of the match were dominated by Willing. They were creating chances and getting in behind the Brock defence. We had to wait 16 minutes for that Welling pressure to finally pay dividends. Balls fed to Taylor Maloney, who finishes nicely from just inside the area. The home side rallied after that setback, and it's only this on loan goalkeeper from Chelsea that prevented an equaliser. Just a couple of minutes after that opener, and it's a clearance off the line that stops the Badgers going 2-0 down. The Badgers were starting to get into the game a bit and putting some nice passing structures together. It's just that final pass that was eluding them. Twenty-one minutes in, and the ref gives this free kick. Henderson steps up. What can he do? Yeah, that's not too shabby. Come on, be brave. Put your face on the line. <laughs> We're on the half hour mark now and the Badgers are under intense pressure, learning what pressing from a step two team does to you. That was my goal of the game from Aziz. Fantastic strike. James Mayo had no chance. As regular viewers will know, I'm a big fan of the commentary that my secondary cameras pick up, and this match is no exception. <laughs> Warren, he fucking missed it, that. As with the third goal, the fourth was of Brock's own making. Coming just a minute after that fantastic Aziz strike, this time, Payne buries it. As some of you will know, every now and then I stick a showboat in when someone's shown off. 
See if you can spot who it is. <laughs> Yeah, it's a tricky one, that. You might need to watch it back. Despite the scoreline, the overwhelming pressure and an incredible heat. To their credit, Brock continued to push forward. The final piece of critical action started in the 39th minute. The ball's eventually slotted through to Nzala, who leaves his defender for dead. The ref needs an ice bath, save blokes for half time. Brock and Hurst nil, winning United 5. <laughs> Brock looked like a different animal in the second half. Now whether that was down to the wings taking it a little bit easy from their first half out in, I'm not sure. But there was certainly more action being dictated by the Badgers. And all that pressure came to fruition in the 60th minute. Although there's a suspicion of handball there, as you'll hear from the commentary on my secondary camera. Anyway, you've got to take your chances and play to the referee's whistle, which is exactly what a trialist did. Apparently the forfeit for conceding a goal against the step five side is you get subbed off, so unlucky boys. The new Welling goalkeeper was soon called into action. Oh! And it's a good job he got his hand to that, because there weren't any more sub goalies on the bench that I could see. Oh! One of the benefits of going to Brock is I get to see an old mate. And here he comes in the shot now. Hey, hello mate. How have you been? <laughs> get it? Yeah? Beam? No? Oh, right. With three minutes from the end, and Brockenhurst is seriously in danger of winning the second half. Thankfully, Atkins hits the post. The full time whistle is blown and it's been an exhausting match. Finishing Brockenhurst 1, Welling United 5. A good workout, I hope, for both teams. It was a pleasure meeting some of the backroom staff at Welling and a couple of the fans. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you really like what you see, you can go and buy me one of those capture bath things from earlier on. My next plan matches in a week and a bit. And in the meantime, stay safe.